in question number 9 of 13 it is given that a toy is in the form of a cone mounted on a hemisphere of same radius 7 cm if the total height of the toy is 31 cm find its total surface area so this is the toy total height is 31 cm and radius of both hemisphere and the cone is 7 cm so we can write in case of hemisphere radius is 7 cm in case of cone radius is 7 cm and height will be 31 minus 7 because from here to here this length is 7 so height of the cone is 31 minus 7 that is 24 centimeter since we have to find the total surface area that means curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of the hemisphere that too will give the total surface area and we know curved surface area of the cone is pi r l since slant height or l is not given we have to first calculate l now slant height l is root over h square plus r square here h is 24 and radius is 7 so 24 square plus 7 square 24 square is 576 plus 49 if i add it will be root over 625 which will give 25 centimeters slant height of the conical part is 25 centimeter now we have to find the total surface area that means curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of the hemisphere so we can write total surface area of the toy is the curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of the hemisphere for cone it is pi r l and for hemisphere it is 2 pi r square pi r common l plus twice r pi is 22 by 7 radius is 7 l we got 25 into twice r 2 into 7 this 7 can be cancelled so it will be 22 into 25 plus 14 25 plus 14 is 39 now 22 into 39 is 858 therefore total surface area of the toy is 858 centimeter square in question number 10 it is given a toy is in the shape of a cone mounted on a hemisphere of the same base radius if the volume of the toy is 231 centimeter square and its diameter is 7 centimeter find the height of the toy so this is the toy here diameter is 7 centimeter since diameter is 7 so radius will be half of it that is 7 by 2 in case of hemisphere it is given that diameter is 7 centimeter so radius will be half of it that is 7 by 2 in case of cone radius is 7 by 2 because radius of cone and radius of hemisphere both are same so radius will be 7 by 2 and height of this is to be calculated now as given in the question volume of this toy is 231 centimeter cube volume of the toy will be volume of the cone plus volume of hemisphere volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square each and volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube so 2 by 3 pi r cube plus 1 by 3 pi r square each is 231 this is the volume of the cone and this is the volume of the hemisphere from here 1 by 3 pi r square can be taken common so from here we are left with twice r plus from here h is left is 231 so 1 by 3 pi is 22 by 7 into r square radius is 7 by 2 so 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 twice r twice 7 by 2 plus h is 231 this 2 and 22 can be cancelled, it will be 11. This 7 can be cancelled, this 2 also can be cancelled. So we are left with here 11 into 7 and here 3 into 2, 7 plus 8 is 231. So 7 plus 8 will be 231 into 3 into 2 divided by 11 into 7. 7 plus 8 is 11 and 231 if I cancel it will be 21. 21 into 3 into 2 by 7. 7 plus h is 9 into 2 so 7 plus h will be 18 h will be 18 minus 7 therefore height equal to 11 therefore height of the conical part is 11 therefore height of the toy will be height of the conical part plus height of the hemispherical part here it is 7 by 2 here it is 11 so it will be if i take the lcm it will be 2 2 into 11 22 plus 7 that is 29 by 2 which will give 14.5 centimeter Therefore, total height of the toy is 14.5 cm and the height of the conical part is 11 cm. In question number 11, it is given that a toy is in the form of a cylinder with hemispherical ends. If the whole length of the toy is 90 cm and its diameter is 42 cm, find the cost of painting the toy at the rate of 70 pesos per square centimeter. Now, in case of each hemisphere, it is given that diameter is 42 therefore radius will be half of it that is 42 by 2 21 centimeter 
in case of cylindrical part radius will be same sorry here also radius will be 21 centimeter and height of the cylinder it will be total height minus this radius and this radius so it will be 90 minus 21 minus 21 which will give 90 minus 42 48 centimeter now we have to find the total surface area of the toy which will be curve surface area of this hemisphere curve surface area of the cylindrical part and the curve surface area of this hemisphere so we can the total surface area of toy is curve surface area of cylinder plus 2 into curve surface area of each hemisphere curve surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h and for hemisphere it is 2 pi r square since there are two hemispheres it will be 2 into twice pi r square from this 2 if I take 2 pi r common it will be h plus twice r 2 pi is 22 by 7 radius is 21 here height of the cylindrical part is 48 plus twice radius 2 into 21 7 and 21 if I cancel it will be 3 so 2 into 22 into 3 and here 48 plus 42 2 into 22 it will give 44 into 3 and 48 plus 42 is 90 now 44 into 3 into 90 it will give 11880 centimeter square which is the total surface area of the toy now as given 70 pesa per square centimeter is required for painting therefore cost of painting will be 70 into 11880 pesa if i multiply it will give 831600 since it is in PSI, you have to convert it in rupees. For this, you have to divide by 100. So, cost is 8316. Therefore, cost of painting the toy is rupees 8316. In question number 12, it is given. A wooden article was made by scooping out a hemisphere from each end of a cylinder as shown in the figure. If the height of the cylinder is 20 cm and its base is of diameter 7 cm find the total surface area of the article when it is ready now this is the cylinder you have scooped that means this upper part is removed this part also removed in the form of a hemisphere now in case of cylindrical part total height is 20 diameter is given 7 so radius will be half of it that is 7 by 2 in case of hemispherical part radius will be half of diameter that is 7 by 2 now we have to find the total surface area so total surface area of this figure will be curve surface area of the cylinder curve surface area of this hemisphere curve surface area of this hemisphere so we can the total surface area of the article is curve surface area of cylinder plus 2 into curve surface area of the hemisphere for cylinder it is 2 pi r h 2 into curve surface of hemisphere is 2 pi r square if i take 2 pi r common h plus twice r 2 pi is 22 by 7 radius is 7 by 2 height is 20 plus twice r 2 into 7 by 2 these two can be cancelled 7 7 can be cancelled 2 2 can be cancelled so we are left with 22 into 20 plus 7 27 if i multiply it will be 594 centimeter square therefore total surface area of this toy is 594 centimeter square as question number 13 is not so important for example purpose so i am showing number 14 from a solid cylinder whose height is 8 cm and radius is 6 cm, a conical cavity of height is cm and of base radius 6 cm is hollowed out. Find the volume of the remaining solid. Also find the total surface area of the remaining solid and here we have to take pi equal to 3.14. Here this is one cylinder and we have removed this conical part. That's why it is written it is hollowed out. Total height is 8 cm and base radius is 6 now in case of conical part here radius will be 6 height will be 8 since we have to find the surface area so we required slant height this length is required so we have to calculate l by using this formula l equal to root over h square plus r square here height is 8 radius is 6 so 8 square plus 6 square 64 plus 36 which will give 100 therefore slant height from here to here this length is 10 cm in case of cylinder here it is given radius is 6 cm and height is 8 cm now to find the volume of the solid we have to subtract volume of cone from the volume of the cylinder because this part is hollowed out volume of the remaining solid will be volume of cylinder minus volume of cone for cylinder it is pi r square each and for cone it is 1 by 3 pi r square each here pi r square each can be taken common we are left with from here 1 is left minus 1 by 3 
pi in the question it is given 3.14 into radius is 6 so 6 into 6 height is 8 here 3 will be the LCM 3 minus 1 so 3.14 into 6 into 6 into 8 3 minus 1 is 2 by 3 3 2 is 6 so 3.14 into 6 is 48 2 into 2 3.14 into 48 into 2 96 into 2 3.14 into 96 will give 301.44 into 2. If I multiply, it will give 602.88 centimeter cube. Therefore, volume of the remaining solid is 602.88 centimeter cube. Now, to find the total surface area of the remaining solid, we have to see the curved surface area of the cylinder plus curved surface area of the cone plus base of the cylinder. For the cylinder, it is 2 pi r h. For the cone, it is pi r l. And base of the cylinder, which is a circle, is pi r square. From here, pi r can be taken common. Twice h plus l plus r. Pi is 3.14 into 6. 2 into h, 2 into 8 plus. Slant height, we got 10. And radius is 6. 3.14 into 6. 8 to the 16 plus 10 plus 6. 3.14 into 6. 16 plus 6 plus 10 will give 32. So, 3.14 into 6 into 32 is 192. If I multiply, it will be 602.88. Therefore, total surface area will be 602.88 centimeter square. Question number 15. It is given from a solid cylinder of height 2.8 centimeter and diameter 4.2 centimeter. A conical cavity of the same height and same diameter is hollowed out. Find the total surface area of the remaining solid. Here, total height is 2.8 centimeter and diameter is 4.2. So, in case of cylinder, height is 2.8 cm and radius will be half of diameter that is 2.1. In case of conical part, height will be same 2.8 cm, radius also will be same 2.1 cm and since surface area is required and we know curved surface area of a cone is pi r l, slant height is needed so we have to calculate slant height. So, slant height will be root over h square plus r square, h is 2.8 square plus 2.1 square. 2.8 whole square is 7.84 plus 2.1 square is 4.41. After adding, it will be 12.25. Therefore, root over 12.25 is 3.5 centimeter. This one you have to use long division method to find the square root. So, we got slant height. Now, total surface area of the remaining solid. Total surface area will be carb surface area of the cylinder, carb surface area of the cone and area of the base. So, we can the total surface area of the remaining solid is curved surface area of the cylinder plus curved surface area of the cone plus base of the cylinder 2 pi r h for curved surface area of the cylinder. Curved surface area of the cone is pi r l and base of the cylinder is pi r square. From here, you can take pi r common twice h plus l plus r pi is 22 by 7 into radius is 2.1 twice h plus l is 3.5 plus radius is 2.1. 2.1 and 7, if I cancel, it will be 0 0.3. So, 22 into 0 0.3, 2 into 2.8, 5.6, plus 3.5 into 2.1. So, 22 into, after adding this 3, it will be 11.2 into 0 0.3. 22 into 11.2 will give 246.4 into 0 0.3. So, if I multiply this 2, it will be 73.92 centimeter square. Therefore, total surface area of the remaining solid, after removal of the conical part, will be 73.92 cm square. Question number 16. A vessel in the form of a hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder. The diameter of the hemisphere is 14 cm and the total height of the vessel is 13 cm. Find the inner surface area of the vessel. Here it is given the total height is 13 cm and diameter is 14 so radius will be 7. So in case of hemispherical part, since diameter is 14, radius will be half of it 7. In case of cylindrical part, radius will be same. So here also radius 7 and height will be 13 minus 7 because from here to here, this length is 7. So height of the cylindrical part is 13 minus 7, 6. Since we have to find the inner surface area, so it will be curved surface area of the cylinder plus curved surface area of the hemisphere. So, inner surface area of the vessel is curved surface area of the cylinder plus curved surface area of the hemisphere. For the cylinder, it is 2 pi r h and for hemisphere, it is 2 pi r square. We can take 2 pi r common. We are left with h plus r 2 
pi is 22 by 7 into radius is 7 h plus r 6 plus 7 these sevens can be cancelled so 2 into 22 into 6 plus 7 13 2 into 22 44 into 13 will give 572 therefore inner surface area of the vessel is 572 centimeter square